Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. Today we got very good information in this one and uh, I'm gonna need your help with something. So, before we dive into that, look at this truck by the way. The uh, lifted power wagon. Does not fit in the garage as I'm sure most of you would have guessed. Pretty sure this truck would fit maybe by a couple inches stock, but uh, definitely doesn't fit lifted. This is a seven foot garage opening. And uh, I think that's kind of funny, right? But anyway, we have it poked in here a little bit because it's hella windy out there and uh, I wanted to put on these fender flares. So real quick, I had someone request uh, me putting these on. I apologize, I should have um, had the camera out, but I forgot. <laughs> Just threw these on this morning when I woke up and uh, all it is guys is you know you have your liner here okay and then there's just bolts on the end okay and they are okay, this is the it is a 5 16 okay I just use the drill and knock those things out and then you slap it on there it helps if you have somebody to help hold in place while you tie one or two of them down so uh, I did but line her up okay and then you tie one down then you get them all in there make sure it's all good and uh, you're pretty much good to go so that's that's you know when I install these rock lights that's all you got to do is take this off and you take the liner out and then I bolted the rock light on and I drilled a hole back here okay and that's where the wire goes through and, and so uh, it was pretty easy and uh, that's how you, you just put your liner back in and then you line your flare up and then you tie them down with those bolts. Uh, there is also a couple back there. Uh, there's one up here and then there's one of those kind of plastic rivets also up there. So uh, those are a bitch to get out by the way. So <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you the weather report real quick. So Illinois is obviously crazy for weather. And yesterday, I'm sorry, the day before, pretty much the whole week before, it has been really warm, unseasonably warm, around 60 some degrees almost every day. And yesterday was warm during the day, but very windy. And I went to Chicago to see my cousin. And when I was on my way home, well, I'm gonna cut to a clip. It became extremely windy, was blowing the truck. It blew me into the lane next to me at one point. I've never had winds that bad actually grab the wheel from me. And uh, I was blowing semis all around. And well, just check out the clip. Really bad drive home on the Chicago area, driving home. And it's pouring hard. And the wind is like 50 mile an hour or more. It's uh, blowing the truck all around. Show you guys that. Uh, be careful when you're driving a big truck in the uh, wind, and especially with the rain. after that segment I just showed you where the uh, tire light was on came on was flashing then it stayed on and the left right or I'm sorry the left rear tire wasn't showing reading now it is and the light one went off so uh, I just did that on its own right when I got off the highway as you can see it was pretty crazy and uh, it was blowing me all around the traction was not good it was just kind of a crazy drive home but truck made it good we made it safe and uh, that was pretty crazy to go through and the light that came on never came back on I think it was just so treacherous out might have bothered a sensor and uh, you know that TPMS light came on and was flashing and then it went away so problem solved I guess first off this is where I need your help this is kind of what the point of the video is and what the title has to do with and that is I should have done this a long time ago and what that is as well 
You see, there's my old spare tire. There's a Goodyear Wranglers. Those are the old tires right there. Okay, those are the stock rims and tires. So with that being said, obviously you know I still have my stock set of wheels. And, uh, you know, something I had forgot and um, what I had mentioned in my video about not airing down too low because uh, in my video talking about power wagon owners need to know this. That was the video. Go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's a good video. And I was saying how you can't air down too hard especially at least with my tire setup here because these are expensive and uh, I don't I you don't want to just go blowing 37 inch tires left to right because you know they're almost 350 to 400 bucks a pop so this is what I'm thinking okay so you have the stock tires which were internal beadlock so they might be a little better than these already okay I'm not still not gonna air down like crazy but what I'm thinking is, these tires are very expensive. They're 37s under mud terrains. Um, the honest to God truth is, let's get real, these are not the best for daily driving on a heavy truck on the street. I love to go off-roading every day of my life, but that's not real life, okay? So this is my daily driver, and these tires see, you know, highway and country roads, so they see high speeds on the street, and they're just, they're just getting eaten up, I mean, the back tire was my spare, and then the other back tire was the new tire, so these have more tread, okay? And what I, my point is, is I'd like to keep them like this. You know, I these are still less than a year old. They're almost a year old, but they're still less than a year old, and look at how thin the tread is getting. And uh, my point here is, is I have a proposition, and I want to know your guys' feedback, because I think I want to do this. I want to take those stock Alcoa forged wheels with internal beadlocks, the stock power wagon wheels. I wanna mount these 37 inch Toyo mud tires on there and keep them in here. And when I go mudding every month or whatever, I'll start the video and I say, look, we're throwing the stock wheels on with the 37 inch Toyos. That must mean we're going off-roading. And that way, these expensive ass tires that are 1200 or more for a set I won't have to be going through these basically once a year or every two years they just with my driving I rotate them I take care of them they just they're just mud tires they they're not the best for driving every day that's just face it and so that way I can make these tires last a few years rather than replace these once a year it's just ridiculous so what I want to do is because I like the look of these better, these rims, okay? This way, I'll take these tires, throw them on the stock wheels, and I'll keep these rims for the street, and I'll just get a cheap set. I don't even care. What should I get for street tires? Um, I may just get some mild all-terrains, something so I still have a little aggressive look, and so I still um, you know, have some ability in the snow and shit like that, so. Uh, please let me know. I'd like to go with 35s, uh, not 37s, because I don't need any ground clearance because um, I'm going to be off on road. And when I go off road, I'm going to have the 37s. So uh, it doesn't have to be aggressive tire and it doesn't have to be big. I want to go with 35s. 33s, I still want to stay away from because when I mounted these stock tires up when I did my burnout video, um, the truck had the lift. And the lift with 33s just looks goofy, looks ridiculous. Uh, you need at least 35s to look halfway decent. So I want to run a street tire with 35s and a mild tire because I don't need it. And that way I'll get a little better gas mileage. I'll get a little speed back in the truck. You know, it still hauls top end with 37s, but off the line, I can light those Goodyear dirt tracks up like nothing, like a muscle car. I can't light these up. This can barely spin the wheels with these. So 35s would be a little easier. So it'd be a little quicker. It'd be better gas mileage and uh, just be better on the street. And they'd last longer. And uh, I wouldn't have to be eating up mud tires left and right. So this way I could save these for only the trail and they'd last me a long time. So Guys, well, I certainly hope you enjoyed that video. Please throw a like on there if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. A lot of good info and I'm looking forward to uh, switching up some stuff on the truck and uh, make it maybe more livable and uh, extended that mud tire life. So anyway guys, I'll catch you later.